Hello. Today we are going to be um, taking an equation and we are going to plug it into a table and then graph it. So here we have um, the first equation is y is equal to x plus 1. And if you note over here in the first column, it's giving you the value of x. And they just went consecutively with 1 through 5. So if I take this equation and say x plus 1 will be equal to y. Well, come back over here. They're giving you the value of x. So 1 plus 1 equals 2. So that means your coordinates are 1 and 2. The value of x is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. Your x and your y coordinates are 2 and 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. 3 and 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. Your x coordinate is 4 and your y coordinate is 5. 5 plus 1 is 6. Your x coordinate is 5 and your y coordinate is 6. This is an additive relationship. And now we're going to come over here and we're going to graph it. Your x axis, which is also your independent axis, axis 1 over 1 and up 2, over 2 and up 3, over 3 and up 4, over 4 and up 5, over 5 and up 6. We're going to draw the line, and there you have it. That is your additive relationship. Our next equation, a number times 2 is equal to y. 2x is equal to y. So we know the value of x they've given them to us, again, is 1 through 5. So I'm going to say... Plug in 2 times 1 is 2. And my coordinates are 1 and 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Your coordinates are 2 and 4. And this section right here, guys, this is like the rule. This is what you're applying to create your equation. That's your rule. What are we doing? We're saying times 2. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 and 6. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 and 8. The value of x is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. Your x is 5 and your y is 10. Remember, in fifth grade, they would call the X and Y like your input and your output. The vocabulary is now just changing, but you're doing the same process. Now we're going to graph this. We're going to say 1 and 2, 2 and 4, 3 and 6, 4 and 8, 4 and 8, and then 5 and 10. You'll note this is going through the origin, so it's going to be multiplicative, and you are multiplying. Okay, our next rule is going to be, we are, what are we doing to x? We are subtracting 3. They've given you the value of x over here. So, 1 minus 3. 
Yes, guys, you're going to get negative numbers. You're even going to end up getting rational numbers when you get into 7th and 8th grade in higher level math. So 1 minus 3 is negative 2. So 1 and negative 2. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. So that would be 2 and negative 1. 3 minus 3 is 0, so that would be 3 and 0. 4 minus 3 is 1, 4 and 1, and 5 minus 3 is 2. So you have 5 and 2. Now we're going to graph it. Over 1, positive, and down a negative 2. Over 2 and down negative 1. Over 3, and we're going to stay on the x-axis. So when, you're, when your y is a 0, you're on the x-axis, and vice versa. When your y is an x, you're on the y-axis. And when your value is an x, you're on the y-axis. Okay, 4 over 4 and up 1 and over 5 and up 2. Excellent. Our rule here is a number, x divided by 2. That's what it's telling us right here. They've given us the value of x. So I'm going to say negative 2 divided by 2 equals negative 1. That would give me a negative 2 and a negative 1. Two divided by two is zero, so that would be zero and zero. Two divided by one is one, and you have two and one. Two divided by two is two, and you have four and two. Six divided by two is three, and then you have six and 3. Now we're going to graph. To the left, negative 2 over 2, 1, 2, and down 1. 0, 0, that's your origin. Over 2, up 1. Over 1, 2, 3, 4, up 2. And over 6, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3. Very good, it goes through the origin. Again, this is multiplicative. Okay, thank you, bye-bye.